Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Tukey HSD statistical test. And in the last video, I showed a box plot. And the whole point of the last video was to demonstrate how we can develop these plots directly from Pandas data frames. And whenever I see a box plot, I automatically either want to do a t-test or a Tukey HSD test. And here is a particularly easy way to do that using stats model and the pairwise Tukey HSD method. And so what you're showing, what I'm showing now is the data import and some cleaning. And we have our data frame here where we are looking at the impact of various treatments to soil and how it impacts the soil composition. And so if I want to understand the, the effect of the experiment on the total elemental composition or one of these particular elements, I can run this pairwise Tukey HSD. And I've done this previously, and I must admit, before I had, for years, I've called it a turkey test. I am only just now recently realizing that it, there's no R in Tukey. It's not turkey, it's Tukey. Um, so, um, and I didn't I didn't know until someone mentioned that in a video that I recorded that, hey, you know it, by the way, it's, it's this. Anyway, so here we go. I have my pairwise test, and I'm going to use that. And I will pass in my endogenous variable. These are, this would be the data frame column I'm curious about, which will be total. And for the groups, I will use the experimental group. So DF experimental group. And when working with data frames, to me, this particular method seems better than the SciPy stats method uh, for working natively with that data frame structure. Um, however, in any case, there's multiple options. Uh, it's just up to your preference. And then the last input is the alpha parameter. We're going to leave it at alpha 0 0.05, but we could adjust this, um, and it will obviously have some impact on the analysis. And so the way pairwise 2 HSD works is that it will now compare the test statistic for each of these groups, the control group versus the background, and do that for the entire study. And if you run it just like this, we will get this particular output. And it's recommended that we just store this as its own variable. And to show that output, we could use the print method. And so the output when we print it is the comparison of group one. And so you can see we have this particular treatment group versus group two, which would be a different treatment group. We can see the mean difference, the upper and lower confidence regions, and whether we can reject the null hypothesis. And so really as a, as a top line, you can see that for when the lower or upper crosses some zero point, we go from negative to positive, we will likely be rejecting the null hypothesis. If it remains negative or just positive, then we cannot reject the null hypothesis. And we can see that we're testing at the 0 0.05 alpha parameter. Um, but there's several other things you could do with this. One other way is to use the Tukey result and use the summary function. And you can see we could generate this table um, in a slightly different format. We don't have to use the print method. One nice thing about this is that we can then create a data frame. It does require a little bit of extra formatting, but I'll at least show you. And then we'd adjust it to make this top row the actual header column and we can then do more analysis in this structure than in this printed view, but you can at least see that there's a lot of good information here. And these are the sorts of outputs that Jump and Origin and SAS and all these other statistical platforms develop. And we can now also get this output using stats model. An additional thing that's really nice to see is that we can plot this data and, and visually understand what's going on between these various treatment groups and it might be easier to read than looking at this table. One of those methods is the plot simultaneous function. And you can see that we can just plot based on some comparison name, and we get a lot of the typical outputs for a matplotlib figure, including the axis description, the fig size, and the X and Y labels. And so let's make our comparison name equal to background. Let's say we wanna determine if there's any difference versus the background. I wanted to ensure that I understood the capitalization and let's run this. And so when we run this, it does kind of give a wonky double output. And so we can clear this up by just using the plt.show again. And you can see that our background is indicated in, with this blue bar and we have these dotted vertical lines so we can see where the, the background is. And we do have some values that are significantly different 
than the background. There's one NPK, two NPK, and manure plus two NPK. And visually, this is a very easy way to understand the parameters of the data set. And all this is, again, based on those early results. So if we want to adjust our confidence range or our alpha value, we can. If we want to control what our comparison group is or switch this to control, we can. And you can see how that, that does change the results, but we can see that the underlying data is the same. And so this is just a great way to perform statistical analysis and another package that you should be familiar with as you do this analysis, this stats model um, multi-comparison package. So in any case, I hope you enjoyed the video. The Tukey HSD. I see you in the next one. Peace.